um, if you, good morning, it's, uh, I'm still in the UK. Uh, if you watch these videos with me, I'm trying to make distinctions with you. <clears throat> Things happen around me that I like for the most part. Uh, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit today. But one of the things I don't know is I don't know how life works. I don't know why things happen. I don't know um, if they're a complete random event or if they're pre-planned and ordered and stuff. But what takes me off on this tangent this morning is I was skiing last week in Switzerland and it was um, minus 20 uh, Celsius. I'm just trying to see that, see what it is. Um, so minus four Fahrenheit, it sounds a lot colder in Celsius, but it was, but it was cold, it was minus four, is, I mean, and you're up and it's windy, and uh, I got to a place in the ski resort where we live, and there were there are two tea bars, one on the right, one on the left, and it depends upon, and, you're not, and they end up almost exactly at the same place, with, within, oh, 10 meters of each other. And it's, there weren't many people, so it really didn't matter which one I took. And I took the one closest to me, which isn't always the one that I take, especially considering what I was, you, sometimes you can get off the lift early and go up to a different part of the resort and, and ski home from there. But uh, I got onto the first side of the resort, and I was kind of wondering, well, what am I doing here? I'm, uh, I'm thinking about getting off, and this is the harder one to get off in the middle. But I started up the resort, and, or up the lift, the T-bar, and was going along, and I looked up, and, and the people directly in front of me were scrambling. They were kind of moving around funny on the thing, and I thought, well, I wonder what that is. Then I looked up, and they had missed something on the ground. They had missed picking something up. So I uh, skied to where it was in my path and, and bent down and picked up a glove going up the ski lift, thinking, and I'm looking, and the people in front of me don't seem to have be missing a glove. They're not looking around. They're not you know, waving thank you or anything like that. And, but I thought, well, it's going to take me longer to go up to the top of this hill and ski back down, but it's, it's not a bad little ski run, so I'll get up to the top and see if there's anybody, because, it, like I said, there weren't a lot of people. There was T-bars missing, like, like people not using the, the T's in front of me, so I really couldn't tell. Nobody was looking around frantically. But I, as I got off the T-bar and skied off and let the T-bar go, I had the glove in my hand, and there were a bunch of teenage girls there, um, and they all started screaming and cheering. And one girl was trying to put a left-handed glove on her right hand, or vice versa, she was trying to put a glove on backwards, because like I said, it was freezing cold. But my, my curiosity is, you know, what was that about? Why did I pick that ski lift on that day? Was it my job to pick up the ski glove? Apparently it was, and deliver it to them so that they wouldn't freeze their hands off. I guess that's what it was about. But those sorts of things kind of don't baffle me. They just cause curiosity. Simply entertained, I guess. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com